let's get to T, T here from the Break Even TCG channel. Here to finally bring you guys my single strike Urshifu uh, deck profile. I've been playing this deck for the last uh, couple of months. Uh, since before Fusion Strike dropped, uh, like right before Fusion Strike dropped. Uh, I've been testing, trying to kind of like perfect this list. Uh, so now I'll give you guys a list, list that I'm comfortable with. Uh, if you want to see a different iteration of this list that I have, uh, check out our Instagram page at uh, BreakEvenTCG. Um, and let's just jump into it. So uh, for the namesake of the deck, we have... Uh, a 2-3 line of Urshifu VMAX. Uh, now, at first, when I first started playing the deck, I was only playing one of these uh, because it being a fighting type uh, kind of was a hindrance. Uh, back then, uh, when I started playing, the big deck was Dragapult, Dragapult and Teleon. And now we have Mew, so, you know, Psychic is still a heavy pre presence in the format. So, this giving up three prizes and being weak to Psychic was just, you know, something I didn't want to deal with. Uh, one second. But, uh, Urshifu V is a solid attacker on its own. Uh, playing two, two V maxes because you don't want to prize one. Uh, you'll only really ever need one. In some matchups, you'll need two. Uh, like the Rapid Striker Shifu matchup, you can probably use two. But uh, Urshifu V is a really solid attacker on its own. Uh, so, for those of you that don't know what these do, uh, for three energy, beat down for 100, uh, and then for three fighting and a colorless, it is G-Max 1 blow for 270. Uh, your damage cap increases for the single strike energies, which I will get to towards the end. But single strike energy boosts your uh, damage by 20 for each one. Uh, so uh, with two, it bumps G-Max 1 blow to 310, which is relatively taking out most most Pokemon in the format. Uh, if you add a, what is it? If you add a third one, it hits 330, which then takes out pretty much everything. Uh, same with this impact blow. If you put two single strike energies on this, it's doing 220, which is taking out every V in the format. So, you know, pretty good cards. Uh, but 3 2 is a line that I felt comfortable with. Uh, no more. Uh, could be less. But then the, the card that made this deck really good. Uh, Umbreon V and Umbreon V Max, uh, adding dark types to those decks uh, that just go along with the single strike theme has been really helpful for the deck. Uh, Umbreon takes care of your Mew matchups, even the V. Uh, both of the V Pokemon in this deck are really good attackers on their own, which makes the deck really good because you can force your opponent into like seven prize or uh, eight prize games for attacking with like one V or two V maxes or two V's and a V max. So making your, forcing your opponent to take extra prizes. But the real kicker is, uh, Umbreon V max's ability, uh, dark signal, which is when you evolve the Umbreon V, you can, uh, bosses order up one of your opponent's bench Pokemon which is a really solid ability. Now, this doesn't work on uh, like any Pokemon with a Fusion Strike energy, but you kind of have, you know, good outs in that matchup anyway for this being a dark type. So, uh, next, uh, we'll skip we'll skip you for now. Uh, we have four Hound Hour, four Hound Doom. Uh, Hound Doom's single Strike Roar ability takes a single strike energy from your deck and attaches it to one of your Pokemon. The Pokemon that it gets attached to then takes 20 damage, uh, which helps with Umbreon V's uh, second attack. If it has any damage on it, it's uh, it does 80 plus 80. 
uh, then you raise that damage cap by like 20, 40 with single strike energies. So that's what makes Umbreon be a solid attacker. But this bread and butter of the deck right here. Uh, if you get two of these out, you can charge up any of your Vs in one turn. If you get three of them out, you can charge up the Urshifu VMAX in one turn as well, which I've done. And uh, this card, this card is crazy. You you cannot cut down on this line at all, and should not. <laughs> and then obviously one Crobat V, uh, draw until you have six. Uh, just one of. I know some people are going up to two, but uh, one I don't want to start it. Two most times I don't even want to see it. Uh, it's it's kind of there for the hands where you really have to dig for something, and uh, you can find it off quick ball. So I kind of just use this as a last resort because in most matchups, I really don't want to put it down. Uh, then if I prize it, I feel bad, but uh, they're just better cards I feel like I could be playing. Uh, next, I'll get into like all of the trainers' consistency cards. We'll start with my favorite ball card, uh, Great Ball. Uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck. If you find a Pokemon there, you can add it to your hand. Uh, so I play four because for the early turns, you really want to find your Hound Hours um, to set up so you can evolve them in the next turn. So just playing as many ball cards as I can in this deck. Uh, so four Quick Ball, same thing. Discard one card, search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Uh, turn one, this is Hound Hour. Uh, so... You want to set up as many Hound Hours as you can, and then whatever V is necessary for the matchup. Then, for the last Ball Search card, we have four Evolution Incense. This gets you your Hound Doom, your Umbreon VMAX, your Urshifu VMAX, uh, but mainly it gets you your Hound Doom, and you want to see this card uh, as quick as possible after you set up your, your turn one board of, like, double Hound Hour. So, uh... These cards are really important. 12 ball search cards. I don't want to cut this. Uh, if I did, I would cut um, one great ball for likely another draw supporter. But for now, four has been working out really well. Uh, there is a version that plays Battle VIP Pass. And uh, I just don't like having deck cards like towards the end of the game. So I don't play that. Uh, then for Urn of Vitality, Urn of Vitality shuffles up to two single strike energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Uh, like I said, single strike energy is really important for raising your damage cap. So since we can only play four, you want to be able to recycle it as much as possible. Uh, and then if you can't, these also become discard fodder for your Tower of Darkness, which we will get to in a moment. But Urn of Vitality four no more no i mean obviously you can't play more i wouldn't play less of this card though uh then two air balloon and one switch for switching options uh air balloon gives everything uh what to retreat less uh so everything outside of urshifu v max would have free retreat uh, so those are our switching options and then for our stadiums three tower of darkness uh this just helps you dig for more cards if you need, like, your supporter for the turn or you're missing a piece like a Urshifu, Energy, a Houndoom. Uh, it's discard a single strike card. Once per turn, you can discard a single strike card, draw two cards. Uh, so this just helps you dig more, especially, like, after getting Marnie or anything like that. So uh, Three. Uh, I wouldn't play four. Uh, it just... Even though you can discard a tower with tower, uh, I just feel like it's really clunky and you don't need more than three. Uh, I did play two at one point, but there, there are just some stadiums you really have to bump. So, three. Uh, then for our supporter lineup, we have four research, three Marnie, and then two boss. Only playing two boss because Umbreon VMAX acts as your you know, third and fourth boss's order. Uh, same ability just you can use it without playing the supporter uh marnie uh both players shuffle their hand then put it at the bottom of their deck 
your opponent draws four, you draw five. This is a good way to disrupt your opponent. And then everyone loves research, discard your hand, draw seven. Uh, seeing seven new cards is busted. And then for our energy, we have four single strike energy, four capture energy, and then two basic fighting energies. Uh, single strike energy, when it's attached to it, it can only be attached to a single strike Pokemon. It counts as a fighting and a darkness energy. Uh, just one at a time though. But the Pokemon it is attached to does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So obviously this raises your damage cap from uh, like a base 180 to base 200, base 220, so on and so forth. Uh, and then you are able to accelerate these with your Houndoom, which is what makes the deck go. Four capture energies, again, to find your Hound Hours turn one. Um, can't really say anything about that. Uh, when you attach this to a Pokemon, you take a basic Pokemon. You can take a basic Pokemon out of your deck um, and put it on your bench. So this auto finds your Hound Hours or any V that you may need at the time. And then two basic fighting energies because Urshifu V has this first attack called Laser Focus. Laser Focus allows it to take up to two fighting energies from your deck and attach them to him. Uh, so if you're if it's your first turn going second, you can attach a single strike energy, use laser laser focus, and then immediately set it up uh, with these two from deck. So then you'll have three energies, and then you'll be ready to impact blow whatever is in front of you the following turn without having to use Hound Dooms. Uh, and I think that is just a really good you know play that the deck has. And I wouldn't cut these. I see a lot of lists cutting these, and I feel like that's wrong, but uh, they are playing like other consistency cards. So, you know, everyone has their preference, but I like this a lot more. Uh, there's another version of the deck that plays dark energies instead of fighting energies, because uh, you're really heavy on your Umbreon line. There are some lists that are playing four Umbreon Vs. And that is also a good counter to the meta, but this is the list that I'm comfortable with and this is the list that I'm bringing you guys. Uh, it has worked out for me, so hope it works out for you guys if you guys ever want to try it out. Uh, other than that, you know, like, comment, subscribe. This is T here from the Break Even TCG channel, and uh, signing off. Deuces.